Welcome back to the We Kidding Podcast. I'm Caitlin. I'm Audrey. All right, let's get into it. So this, it's August 20th, yeah. 4 p.m., mm-hmm. and we have some breaking news. Spider-Man? Spider-Man's Marvel and Sony? It's, it's, it's Marvel and Sony, but now they're not part of Marvel, which is some fucking bullshit. Only Spider-Man, though. Yeah. I, what does that even mean for the for their, like... When the whole, like, ensemble is together. Like, how do they even make a well, movie? Well, the Avengers are, like, not a thing anymore. Because... Oh, that's over? It's, like... What is this? Like, phase five? They're going into, I think, phase four. Oh, phase four. Okay. But... They're, like, not a thing anymore. Because Endgame happened and everything. It's just, like... They're, the Avengers are, like, over. Now they're coming out with new stuff. Okay, which but is so are... fucking fucked up. Okay, but they're gonna get back together, right? Like... Well, there's, like... Captain America, his contract's done. He decided to go back to fucking Peggy... And then we have Sam Wilson as the new Captain America, but we don't know what's going to happen. And then we have, there's a bunch of like TV shows like The Winter Soldier and Falcon are having their own TV show, which I'm so Is fine. Chris Evan? Wait, who's The Winter Soldier? Sebastian Stan. <laughs> hold up, hold up, guys. You tell me I'm be able to see him every week? Yeah. <laughs> but it's on Disney wait. Plus or some shit like that. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, you know Disney Plus is taking all of the Disney, mo- all of the like Disney like made things and putting it on disney plus do you have to pay money to look at disney plus yeah but i think it's like really cheap especially if you're a student but the thing is is like think about how much like think about all the rights like disney owns yeah it's like a shit ton yeah and like all i'm pretty sure most of the marvel movies are disney no they are because yeah. marvel's owned by disney yeah yeah yeah. okay yeah that makes sense okay but whatever so specifically spider-man is no is longer now, part of the Marvel franchise. Yeah, is but Tom Holland is going to stay with them. We read an article from well, I deleted the <laughs> website, but we read some article and it said that. So, um, but also we might be we might have read the wrong information. I don't think that's a live bug. I think that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a mosquito on the fucking table. Okay, okay, speaking of Marvel though, like I said in the first podcast, and I'm going to say this one more fucking time. The Russo brothers, um, what's that one guy's name that directed Iron Man? John Favreau? Favreau? You know who I'm talking about? He plays Happy in Spider-Man. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, what? He directed a Marvel movie? He directed, like, I think the first, I think he directed all the Iron Man movies. And he directed The Lion King. What? I did not know that guy was, like, a director. My king. Love. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Damn, he multi-talented. <laughs> but I was saying, if y'all hear this, Russo please, brothers. any of them. If, you know, if any of the actors are like, you know what, this bitch really needs a job. Please get me onto a movie. And that's that on that, ladies. Just please, for the love of God, please just, please just... Please give her a job. She need money. Please. I just want to work with Chris Evans. That's literally all I'm asking for. <laughs> She's so for. desperate. All right. So, continuing on this superhero rant. I'm about to cry. That we, for literally, I don't even watch superhero movies. Okay, but you know what superhero movie I really did love? Shazam. Hmm. Did I never saw it? it, no. Okay, literally so good. Adam Brody. He's in it. Seth Cohen from The O.C. <laughs> is Seth Cohen the redhead guy? No. From The O.C. Ew. Is, is Seth Literally Cohen Adam Brody has brown hair. What? But is Seth Cohen have... Oh, is that his character's name? Yeah. Oh, I thought Seth Cohen was that redhead guy from Scooby-Doo that fell in love with Velma. You know what I'm talking about? No, I literally don't remember that, but Scooby-Doo slap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but talking about superheroes... I don't even know why we're talking about superheroes that much because I literally don't even watch that many superhero movies. Like, the amount of Marvel movies I've seen has been Black Panther, Homecoming, The Far From Home. Infinity War. Infinity War. And Endgame. I don't... I watched, like, clips of Infinity War, but I watched Endgame. Okay. And then I've seen, like, clips of Iron Man. You know, like, if it's on TV, I'm like, whatever the... I'll, like, fucking watch it. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the both of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Maybe I've seen a lot. But no, there's way more, right? Mm-hmm. I've seen a little bit of... To me, in my Civil opinion... Civil War. Okay, first off, Civil War, in my opinion... Is that the first... Wait. 
It's question. Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Captain America, Civil War. Civil War, by far, in my opinion, is the best Marvel movie. And then the Winter Soldier is, like, second. Sorry about so it. So is Civil War the first one with Tom Holland in that one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I only saw clips of that one because Tom Holland. my friend, no, my friend Sarah only wanted to watch the clips with Tom Holland. So I only watched the clips with Tom to Holland up. in it. Um, that's but, when Seb had that long hair and it was so mm, fine. Okay. Mm. Uh, wait, so when you say he was the first Avenger, Chris Evans, do you mean that like... That was the first Avenger movie, like, where the whole cast was together? Or, like, he... Like, do you mean... When you say Avenger, do you mean, like, the gang? Or do you just mean, like, one person? One person. He was the first Avenger. And then they got all these other people. So, like, the first superheroes. Yeah, and then they got all these other people together and made the Avengers. And then then that's when Avengers, like, the first movie came out. Oh. I always thought, like, when people said Avengers, I always thought, like... They were referring to, like, the whole ensemble. No, those are the I, like, Avengers. Didn't... But if you're an oh, Avenger... An S. If you're an Avenger, you're just a single. Sorry about it. Okay. I was, like... I was... I interpreted, like, Avengers as, like... Yeah. We're all now. Okay, okay, anyways. So, <laughs> we gonna move on. Fuck. Um, continuing on this superhero rant that I don't even know why we have. This is the second... Our second podcast, and we literally are continuing this fucking Marvel rant, <laughs> and I don't know why. It always comes back. Always comes oh. back. <laughs> and guess what? It'll come back in the third one, and in the, in the fourth, fourth one, it's gonna come back and then in every single fifth one. one. I'm, I'm gonna make done. some dumb remark that's gonna bring up Marvel. I know myself. I'm gonna do it. Probably. Okay. Continuing. Superheroes. <laughs> the new Amazon Prime show, which has really high ratings. The boys. One of the best shows, sorry. The Boys. I think on IMDb, I want to say it has a 9 out of 10 rating. Okay. 8.9. 8.9 out of 10. That's 82% still... 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's so I don't know. Good. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's like such a hit or miss with... Hit or miss. I guess Ew. you never miss. Okay. Um, but like with Rotten Tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes, it's always like such a hit or miss with like if the show's... Mm-hmm. Good or not. Um, but I feel like it doesn't have that strong of a fandom. It doesn't. I go on Tumblr every single goddamn day to, like, try to find something on it. And I cannot find anything besides one based on The Deep having a mental breakdown based on episode eight. But, like, don't oh, tell me anything because I have not watched that. So, I'm like, I can't read it. And plus, I really don't want to read that. What, him having a mental breakdown? Yeah. We don't want to see our baby in pain. <laughs> Honestly. Um, but <clears throat> this is probably one of the best... Like, I tried watching Agent, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm-hmm. S.H.I.E.L.D. of Agents, something like that. Is it that. too serious? No, I don't know. I just, like, I watched, like, first five minutes of it, and I was like, yeah, I'm not entertained. But this is a really... Oh, and I did watch Daredevil. I watched the whole first season of Daredevil. Was it good? I wasn't into it. Literally, I can, like, force myself to binge watch a show if I don't even like it. Like, I watched... This is so sad. Okay, I watched, like, five seasons of Pretty Little Liars, and then I was like, yeah, I need to stop because I don't like it. What the fuck? I don't know. I can just force myself to watch a show even if I don't like it. Look at my fucking blister. Audrey walked for, like, five minutes today, and she's been complaining about her legs hurting, her knees hurting. I was literally And now she has heels. a blister. And now she has a blister. Literally wearing heels, so she, this bitch could back the fuck up. Um, also, now we both have jobs. <laughs> yeah. That, well, at least mine doesn't make any money. Um, Audrey's kind of making bank. She's going to start making bank. I'm going to start making bank. I'm going to start making fortune. If she passes her drug test, no. You're so fucking annoying. <laughs> but back on the deep. Audrey's not done with this. I'm really not because I'm so in love with Chase Crawford. It's fucking sick. Okay, but you can't even say you're a true fan because you didn't even watch Gossip Girl. Like, Chase Crawford, that was his His start, I'm pretty sure. I do not. No, his peak is literally right now. Like, he looks so fire. Okay, I I watched Gossip Girl at one point. I used to watch it with someone, like one of my old friends. Like, that was, like, one of my favorite shows. But I just... I like now looking back. I don't like that show. I think it's what, so Gossip gross. Girl? Yeah, I think it's so gross. But like, did he look Dude. good? Absolutely. It's like, 
It's like when you watch Riverdale because it's like cringe. Right? But I physically the cannot o- watch that. Okay, but the OC dude. That's like I think I'm gonna start watching Vampire Diaries again. <laughs> I've seen like some episodes and that I wanna was... go back and watch. It. Okay, that was the first show I ever binged. Oh, Vampire yeah. Diaries. And I'm I got like go back and watch True Blood. Dude, True Blood. Okay, first season of True Blood, kind of trash because I tried to go back and watch it and I was like, what is going on? But Young Me was like, oh my god, this is an HBO show. I was like, like damn. I said I'm a rebel. <laughs> um, but what was the first show you like ever binge watched? I don't fucking know. Probably the last Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, most likely. Dude, literally that one was really good too. That, I don't know if that was my first. show I, I think binged. that was the first show I ever binged. I think I would only binge it when I was at your house because, yeah. like, didn't you guys... Did you guys have DVDs or did you just record them all? I think we record them. Dude, they, that show was so good. The movie did them so wrong and I'm so pissed. So fucking disgusting. The movie was legit so bad. It was... Uh, mm-mm. The show was so fire. But the show was so damn good. Like, I had the biggest crush on um, Z- Aang. No, oh, you and my sister loved Zuko and I honestly don't know why. I love a bad boy. It's not my fault. No, I, I loved, love a little third degree bird. You're sick. I loved <laughs> Aang and then what was the Katara's brother's name? Not Suki. I don't know why I keep thinking of fucking Suki. Suki's from uh, True Blood. Um, I don't know. Let's look it up. It was Katara. Aang, Katara, Zuko, May. Was the Earthbender, right? Who? May was the Earthbender? Yeah. Who the fuck? What was his fuck? name? Zuko Katara. Why oh, is he her not? Her name's Toph. I thought it was May. I literally thought it was too. Apple. Wait, why Sokka. is he? Fucking Sokka. Sokka. Oh my god, he was so cute. But Aang literally had my heart as a child. Oh, my king. Zuko, sorry. like You're sick in the head. Literally sick. I thought her name was May. I like, really she was did blind, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah, isn't her name May? Really oh, did. May is this one. Who's that one? Cricket Lee. Wait, who the f- wait, what does she look like? Who was she? I could have sw- oh is that May right there or is that the other one? No, that's the Toph. What the fuck? Wait, what? Zuko what? gets married? <gasps> Zuko married May and Asaka married Suki. Wait, who the who fuck the fuck is, is May? Like I'm looking this shit up. <gasps> oh, she's that bad bitch. Oh, dude, she was fire. He married her. Okay, I love that. I do too. I'm fine. I love that who so much. But who is Suki? Suki? S U K I. Yeah. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. Wait, what? Wait, that means. Wait, who married? Sokka. Oh, he married her? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because he got all nervous around her. I mean, she's a bad bitch. No, literally, they both understand. married bad bitches. Damn. Who the, did, so did Katara That's what's going to happen to the men that marry us. They're going to uh, be married into a bad bitch. Did Aang and Katara clear. ever get married? Because I feel like they always had a thing No, for okay, time. literally, they had to have gotten married. I really hope they did. Okay, wait. What's his? Aang? A, wait. A, A. And, and Katara. Like, I swear. Are they married? <gasps> Wedding? What? Dude, okay, did I not watch the last season or some shit? Or is this, like, some, like, fan this is... shit? Oh, this is, like, people shipping them together and, like, predicting what their lives are gonna be and, like, I don't think it is. Let's it's see. It's literally from Avatar.fandom. I don't think this is real. I think people just... You know, said the show's over. Let's just make them. No, I'm fucking looking this shit up. Okay. It's literally right there. On Wiki Fandom. This is, like, all this shit that comes from, like, the show or the book. And did they have three kids? Let's fucking see. Okay, it just says love interest. Where the fuck his kid's at? Mitchell Musso? Oh, unaired oh, un- pilot. Okay, if Mitchell Nusso <laughs> was Aang, I would have not watched that show. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, he's so cracked. Have you, like, he really seen is. any of his tweets? It's like, sad. he's an actual crackhead. Okay. Um, what were we even talking about? We were talking about the boys, and then for some reason... Oh, we were talking about first shows we binge-watched. Okay, we yeah. literally get on a tangent so fast. 
Um, but the boys. Such a good superhero show. Like, literally, right off the bat. It you, was good. Like Right off the bat, it love. was, like, funny. Mm-hmm. And then you were, like, shook because... I don't want to spoil anything but in case like, someone wants to watch it. Also, it's on Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it. Um, but when that first big thing happened... Yeah, I literally was like, what the fuck? And then you just, like, have to watch because you're like, what the heck? Like, why the fuck did that happen? I also think, like, I think I told you this before, but I do think that Homelander is, like, a knockoff Captain America. No. He most definitely is, and like... It makes it okay, ten times funnier. if you literally... To me, it makes it ten times funnier. Why? I, I mean, like, he doesn't know. have a shield. No, but the cape is just, like, the shield in my eyes. Um, it's just, like, I think it's because, like, the, all the their, blonde hair. Also, it's like, I don't know. Okay, so the whole thing, the whole, like, premise of the show, essentially, is that, like, there's superheroes in the world, and there's this huge company that owns them. Also, I already finished binging the show, but, um. I have one episode Aud- left. Yeah, Audrey has one episode left. I need to pace myself. Okay, but, so, there's, like, this company that essentially owns all the rights to them, to all the superheroes, and, um, but, okay, so, I just want to say one thing. For a company, like, owning all these superheroes, why do none of these superheroes have, like, good costumes? Thank you. Right? Like, you would think that they would have, like, some Iron Man shit. You know, like no, some it's Iron like, it's Man like costumey. Nation. No, it's so costumey, especially the like star, star Starlight like, girl. Yeah, like her costume looks like one that I got at Party City. It really does, and I feel like if so does um Queen it, Maeve. Yeah. Oh my so... God, Queen Maeve okay. looks like plastic. Also, have you noticed like her wig throughout the whole season? Yeah. Like it will start like slipping back, and you start seeing her natural hair. I'm like. Let me on that job real quick. <laughs> let me get that job real quick. Yeah. What to fix her wig? Just or let me to do her? something so I can fix the costume. So Chase Crawford, I'll fix your costume. Um, but yeah, really good show. I highly recommend it. Even if you don't like superhero stuff, because it's funny. I, I, it's funny, and then at times it's. I I feel like you're not like watching a, a superhero yeah show kind of it's more of like a drama and like an investigative yeah drama it's like a it's like a thriller like a comedy yeah. thriller like what's gonna happen we don't know mm-hmm. like a mystery yeah um because i feel like when you do watch superhero stuff especially like a marvel movie it's very it, predictable it, yeah it's very predictable and it's so like it's like constantly like an act it's like so much action it's like okay like, here's a high, low, high, low. This is just, and like, then, maybe a high in the episode. We don't know. Yeah. Like, maybe an episode is just, like, an informative episode, but it's still, like, so really good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, like, last <clears throat> week is when I watched it, and it had a 9 out of 10 on IMDb, but now it has a 8.9. I don't know how that rating system works, but usually if, like, IMDb rates it really good, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> or, like, it must be really good. Did that thing move? No, it was your the dog's bug? outside. No, I was going to say the bug. Oh, it for sure did. That bitch is alive, Kate. That's a <laughs> fucking baby cockroach. It's a baby cockroach? Yeah, it literally okay, looks just I like a I literally cockroach. killed two cockroaches last night in my bathroom. Actually, I didn't kill them. I screamed for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and she came in and vacuumed them up. Stop, Audrey. We need to kill it. Dude, like, where are these cockroaches coming from? And I swear it's from the ceiling vents. Like, on jaw is from the That's fucking events. disgusting. But, I thought that we got on this tangent about Avatar. But, we gotta think, we gotta talk about the real problem in America. In, in the world. Okay. Victoria's it's Secret underwear. underwear. Hold on. But let's just step, let's step back. If you ask any girl where their underwear's from... It's Victoria's Victoria Secret. Secret or Pink, most likely. Yeah, Victoria's Secret or Pink, but essentially the same company. Yeah. Right? Because every time I'm like, oh, I need new underwear. I automatically I just, think of Pink. I automatically think of Pink, and I'm just like, okay, that's where I get my underwear and my bras from. Yeah. Like, I don't really think about any anywhere else. But men, if you're watching, men, boys, uh, just boys, 
Um, maybe you don't want to listen to this. I don't fucking know. But if any They're girls, the worst underwear. Let's just get that Literally straight. the worst underwear. They don't cover both lips. <laughs> they don't. They literally don't. They cover half your cootie. <laughs> and then that's about it. Literally, though. Like, I... Andre and I were talking about this, like, I think it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. I, I think I brought it, it up. Yeah, because, and I, like, never have thought about it, like, but I have thought about it because I'm always like, damn, this fucking underwear, like, it's so annoying, like, you have to constantly, like, move it around because it, like, it just it shifts. just, like, it shifts and it doesn't, like, I just, like, don't understand how it doesn't cover like, throughout the day today, I've been complaining that my literal, like, cooch was hanging out because my <laughs> underwear kept, like, shifting, Isn't and it was it so like, annoying. I really don't think it's just us that has the problem. I, I don't feel like th- everyone... I saw a TikTok about it, and I was like, oh my god, that's, ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> because I feel like a lot of girls are always like, oh my god, my underwear is, like, so annoying. But then if you, like, are like, oh, what underwear do you get? And, and like, it's, like, pink. Yeah. It's a problem. We need to be on their marketing I know that, like, Walmart sells underwear. Fucking Target sells underwear. But, like, do people buy underwear from there? I used to work at Target. And, check like, when I would check people out, I would occasionally see, like, one girl buy, like, five pairs of underwear from them. I've never bought underwear from Target. Yeah. But, like, and it was only, like, occasionally that I would see it. It wasn't, like, constantly I would see it when people were, like, going clothes shopping. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's and, like, so all of my underwear is Victoria's Secret. I've never had, like... Maybe when I... Obviously, when I was younger, like, I wasn't wearing... I wasn't, like, rocking a thong when I was five. But I think, like... I think I was... I think I was in, like, middle school, junior high is when I started wearing, like, Victoria's Secret in pink underwear. But mm-hmm. I think even younger than that, I was wearing like Victoria's Secret underwear, but just like, you know, the boy short ones. Yeah. Or something. I think but, I like, got mine like when I was like, and, in fifth or okay, sixth grade. Even if you wear those, they don't cover. They mold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is they another thing Kate and I were talking about. They literally mold, but it's like they mold to the inside. And like they get like, caught what? in the inside <laughs> and they like will literally mold and you have to like peel it out. Yeah, it's literally like so fucking whack it's like i might as well not be wearing this shit and it's so thin too it's probably so thin. It's, it's the worst underwear i've ever put on but like you get like 10 for 27 and you're like yeah sure fuck it no yeah it's and then they so have like cute, cute underwear just in case like you need cute underwear for like a special occasion no yeah they have cute underwear but like i'm when i go like, to my I, house dude, i don't I... want a thong up my ass and then my cooter hanging <laughs> out like what the fuck do i, I look know like? you're already you already have something up your ass you don't need something else up yeah i just want to like chill not worry about my shit hanging out when i'm trying to watch television with my family dude but it's like so thin that like if you do get your period it's, while you're, you're done for you're done dude like the pants are ruined because literally i ruined fab- so many pants that fabric is so thin it's gross yeah, it's just like one drop and it's like, okay, let, let me bleed through. It's it's like annoying. you need like fucking some type of protect, protection. For sure. I'm sick of it. I'm going to boycott Victoria's Secret. <laughs> everyone boycott Victoria's Secret. Maybe um, like make underwear that covers both lips. <laughs> but okay. Hang on, I'm checking right now. Oh, yeah. No, mine literally is not. I know it. My I can whole, feel it. My whole... I'm wearing shorts and I can... My whole shit's hanging out. Literally. Because, okay, it's not even that, like, it goes to one side. It, like, it goes just, in like, the middle. It just goes inside. It's like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay, so am I, like, wearing crotchless panties? I'm so <laughs> no, fucking literally. confused. Might as well just, like, cut a fucking hole out. No shit. Um, but, like, is there any... Like, I'm gonna, I wanna go and, like, buy underwear from, uh, from like, Target. I wanna go buy underwear from a bunch of different places and see who makes the best underwear. Yeah. Cause I feel like you definitely need, like, you need a, a wider underwear that, like, cover, you know, like, the spa- the the fabric that covers your cooch. Yeah. You need a wider <laughs> strip and not, like, you know, one that goes into, like, a, no, okay, like a, no, yes. A G string. No, yeah. So Victoria's Secrets, it starts off wide in the front. Like it's covering up where like it the literally pubes where area. I really don't care if it's wide or not. I want it wide, like where it touches like my shit. Not yeah. like where my pubes are, because I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's like wide there. And then it comes down into like, like an, a V. A, yeah, no, like but an upside down triangle triangle. Yeah. So a and V. Then, 
<laughs> yeah, a what? fucking V. <laughs> <laughs> I go, no, you're wrong. It's not a V. Um, but literally, and then it, but then it stays that fucking length for the whole time. And then when you pull down your underwear, it's like literally like <laughs> so tiny. It's all like crinkled up because it literally yes. molded to your ass cheeks and your cooch. Yes. It's so obnoxious. And like. Okay, we're not even saying, like, I don't wear my underwear, like, fucking super high. Oh, I do. I, like, literally pull it so far up my ass, it's about to make it bleed. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I, I don't pull... I just, like, put mine on my hips. I think that, that's, that's where so sh- fucking ugly. I mean, like, the early 2000s where we wear shit, like, super low on the hips. Do you make it to where it looks like a fucking bikini on you? Yeah. Who is seeing it? Me, bitch. When I dance in the mirror, like it just—it's just more comfortable. And plus, like I wear leggings a lot, and I don't want that line of it just being like literally in the middle of my ass. So I pull it up higher. Oh. Yeah. I don't really wear leggings though. I haven't worn leggings in probably like two years. They're comfy. Okay, they get suffocating though. Yeah, it's so much fabric there. That bitch is fucking moving. Yeah, I just saw its little antenna move. Stop it, Audrey. No, because I want to kill it. I don't want it to grow up in this house. I do. It thinks it has so rights. Rude. Okay. But this is what I'm saying. This is how you need to make, like, a good underwear. Like, I think you need, like, kind of a heavy seam on the outside okay. of the underwear. Like, especially when you're, like, going down into, as you like to say, the cooch. Okay. <laughs> So then it, like, covers, right? Because I feel like a thicker side would, like, cover. Whereas, like, a thin side would just, like, slip and move. Yeah. You know? That makes sense. Think about, like, a swimsuit. Okay. It's thicker. Like, the fabric is kind of thicker on the side. Or, like, on the the ends. Yeah, the seams. Yeah. And so it doesn't move. Because, you like, when you wear your swimsuit, it's not going up your cooch. Like, fucking Victoria's Secret underwear. Yeah. Like, I haven't realized. I've gone, like, how many fucking years of my life wearing this underwear, being so uncomfortable, thinking that this is what I had to fucking deal with. And you didn't. And I didn't. This whole time, I didn't have to deal with this bullshit. And that's the tea. And that's the tea. And guys, <laughs> we're going to leave you on that note. Um, We're thinking that, like, an hour-long podcast. It's like way too long. Might be too long. Too much of a commitment to listen to something like an hour long. Yeah, so this is like super fast. Yeah, so we're thinking that maybe episodes will be kind of like 30 minutes now. And then we might have like ones running like 40 minutes minutes ish if like we're feeling like we need more to talk about. But I think this was like a good topic. We talked about Spider-Man the boys the boys marvel, marvel and yes underwear and avatar and avatar we went on an avatar tangent that we did not have <laughs> written down in our notes and that we did not need to go on we either. really didn't need to go on it but now i feel like i've learned so much about the show and i feel like i want to watch it again i really do like appa yip yip like ugh, come on uh, <laughs> appa yip yip I love. come on <laughs> oh my god um but all we're gonna say is that Anyways, follow us on our social medias. They'll be okay. linked down below. Jeez. No. Uh, okay. No. We're going to end it as... Um, I want to change that ending because I didn't like that. Okay. What do you want it to be? Where can I find you, Audrey? <laughs> I like that ending better. It's it's from another podcast, so should we not use it? Yeah. Okay. Well, follow me on... I thought I was talking, but okay. <laughs> follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both... And the at is the same. It's at the Kinlin, the K I N L I N. Oh, she'll sure, link it down below. We'll My social medias below. will be linked down below. Audrey E. Jones. Literally, we'll right. just link it down below. And um, see you guys next week so you can hear our beautiful voices. Bye. Bye.